Hathaday and welcome back to the show everybody. Of course the holiday season is in full swing here in the island so that means our friends at the Salvation Army are back out in the streets and at the various malls and out in the community doing great things but it makes for a really big challenge and they need the help of the community so it's a really good partnership. Captain Mike Lucher is here right now to talk about everything the Salvation Army does for us right here on the island by way of upstate New York so yes <laughs> welcome to Guam for a lot of people out here this is the first time they're seeing you face to face as it were over TV and everything so happy holidays and holidays. Yes. Thank you thank you well we, we've been here for five months uh, but actually a returning resident so we lived here about 14 years ago uh, for about two and a half years and then became officers in the Salvation Army and they said we want you to go to the, back to the islands. Well, there's a couple new uh, restaurants and everything, so make sure. I, I hope you've tried them already. Uh, maybe not, but it'll, it'll be good. It'll be good, to, <laughs> it'll be good to go around the community. Uh, okay, well, speaking of eating, um, the ability to pass out food to people in need of it and everything is something that Salvation Army um, constantly does. I mean, it's, it's yes. a big event. Uh, KUM was fortunate to help out you guys at the Thanksgiving Day luncheon. Um, but the work continues year-round, not only with um, food donations and everything, but all around. So what does your Salvation Army do for the less fortunate? Yes, what, what, are we, what we're preparing right now is uh, we do have our toy drive coming up next week on, on the uh, 19th and 20th, uh, but we, what we also provide are food boxes. And so all the families who are coming in for gifts, we're also providing food. And uh, the food that we're, we're collecting uh, through the help of KUAM and the community, it actually lasts us throughout the year, uh, depending on the date of the food that's donated. Uh, so that we can uh, do some outreach, go out to, uh, not just for people to come to our place in Tietzen, but for us to be able to go out to the community, go out to the mayor's offices, and be able to take food to where, where there's need. Outstanding. And of course, we, you know, we did uh, a story a couple, of, um, a couple of days ago, and we interviewed uh, some people at the Salvation Army, and they were actually showing us, and they said, you know, this area right here will be dedicated for kids zero to five years old for toys and everything. And the table is unfortunately blank and everything like that. Um, mm. What do you see as someone who's done this for many years as a particular challenge this year and maybe in terms of economy or just you know the word getting out? Yeah. I just think what's, what's hard about uh, the program that we operate is we do an intake for people to uh, receive toys. Uh, then we just don't know exactly how many toys that we've received. So at two o'clock today, just before I left to come here, the Chinese chamber uh, had donated 2,000 toys to the Salvation wow. Army. Yes, so that basically they brought the toys to help jumpstart and help to keep uh, people motivated to give. So we're still looking for uh, anywhere between two to 3,000 more toys because yeah. uh, we try to give each child uh, a major gift and a minor gift. That means one bigger gift and a smaller gift so that there's at least two toys uh, per child uh, given. Now for people that may not know the, the difference between the two, a major gift might be uh, say like a dump truck and yes. a minor gift might be like a single action figure, maybe a soldier and everything like that. How do you right. guys actually determine which is which? Uh, we just we just determine the, the price value. Uh, okay. Like we at least like to keep it, you know, the price of the gifts uh, down so people can afford them. Mm -hmm. So we like to at least keep a major gift around $20 and then just a smaller gift, like anywhere between one to five dollars. Mm. Something that could either be a stocking stuffer or a smaller gift they can, they can still unwrap. Well, of course. And of course it is, uh, it is written that many hands make light work, so yes. you guys are always in need of help and the people in the island community always willing to help you guys out. So if there's anybody there watching this right now that wants to get involved in the various programs that you administer and everything like that, how can they do so? Uh, they can call our main number at 477-9872, and that's our uh, main office in Tietzen, and our, our wonderful people, either Judy or Brittany, can send you to the right people to uh, volunteer your time. So especially during distribution, we love the opportunity for our donors to come out and see what we actually do and how we hand out the toys. Uh, it's just awesome to see us being able to help the parents pick out the toys for their kids. Mm -hmm. What does it mean for you as a man of faith um, to not only extend yourself and you know of that, of that of your family and show, you know, help your fellow man and everything like that, but to work so tirelessly during a time when a lot of people say, you know, like in the corporate world, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna kind of take it easy because it's the holidays, it's a very commercial um, right, time right. of year, it's that time of year when you're actually supposed to take a break and kick back with family and friends and everything like that. But you know, you guys basically work around the clock and help it out. You know, what does that mean yes. to you? Uh, I think for us is uh, we feel that when we give of ourselves, when we give of our lives, 
and give it out to other people who's in need. It just makes a difference in your heart. It makes a difference in your life uh, for other people. It just brings a joy within me that you just can't contain. Uh, and I think that's something that God gives. Mm -hmm. Well, you come from a long line of friends that we here at KUM are pleased as punch to work with and everything like that. So um, thank you for everything that you do. And what's the number once again if people want to volunteer? Yes, the number is 477-9872. All right, well, Captain, happy holidays, and thank you very much for everything that you do. Thank you. Sincerely Merry appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. And stay tuned because we will be back right after these commercials. Stay with us.